When Desiree Sunford was found shot to death, cops and almost everyone close to the case suspects it's her husband, Scott, who pulled the trigger. Until his mistress steps forward, giving him an airtight alibi. I knew that he had been with me all night. I knew that there was no way that he could have done it. The mistress tells me in this Crime Watch Daily exclusive, there was no reason for Scott to kill Desiree, claiming she was well aware of the affair. In fact, she says Desiree was a willing part of a happy love triangle. You're having sex with Desiree. I'm having sex with Desiree's Scott. having sex with her husband. Mm -hmm. You're having sex with Scott. Everyone's on the same page. Exactly. But was there a motive about to be delivered? You find out you're pregnant with Scott's kid. Yeah. The happy threesome was about to become an incredibly awkward family of four. Because he didn't want Desiree to find out. He never said that, but probably. Very probably. Still, cops don't have proof. And remember, there is mystery DNA and a bloody shoe print found at the crime scene that doesn't belong to Scott. A year and a half goes by, then a call comes into the Crime Stoppers tip line. It's the mistress telling cops someone has confessed to murder. I put it into the, the Crime Watchers tip line. They were like, this is information that we never release to the public and the detectives would like to talk to you. He made sure that everything was wiped down, completely clean, no fingerprints on anything, none of the bullets, reloaded the clip. <sighs> Turned his phone off before he left the house. We blurred the mistress's face to keep her true identity hidden. But what she tells police is crystal clear. He asked me if I wanted him to take care of this new woman like he did Des. The mistress isn't talking about her lover, Desiree's husband, Scott. She says the killer is a man named Marty Grismer, who just happens to be the mistress's best friend. Tell me about Marty Grismer. What do you want to know? How'd you meet him? At work, actually. At one point, I went out on a date with Marty and that was a really bad idea. Did you and Marty ever have sex? No, no. He tried really hard and it wasn't happening. Would you say Marty was infatuated with you? No, Marty was obsessed with me. He would always tell me how perfect I was and how much he loved me and adored me and cherished me and would do anything for me. Anything, including murder. He said, well, I'm the one who killed Desiree. Didn't you know that? No, actually I didn't. What did Marty tell you? He reenacted what he had done and how he had made it look like a break-in. He told me eventually everything. Apparently, he decided that if the baby was Scott's, like, then Desiree would cause issues. Oh my God. The mistress told detectives she and Marty actually talked about the best way to kill people, but she thought it was all a joke. You and Marty, they say, have this hobby, he just said, debating how best to kill someone, dispose the body, and get away with murder. How to build the perfect crime. You know normal people don't talk about I, I do know death, that. right? A normal hobby is fishing, hot yoga, origami, not planning out murder. That's true. That's very true. But those were never my hobbies. Why did Marty tell you he murdered Desiree? All he would tell me was to make you happy. And I said, well, why did you think that that would make me happy? And he says, because now you're going to have this baby. I wanted you and Scott to be able to start a fresh life. Detectives asked the mistress to wear a wire. They want to get Grismer's confession on tape. You said that there was no evidence. So I'm just wondering for sure, for sure, if there's nothing left. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. I don't have anything. I've never done anything. But it backfires. Grismer denies everything. Then the mistress tells cop she's got another ace up her sleeve, claiming she knows where Grismer stashed the things he took from the crime scene. And better yet, where he hid his gun. He had a gun barrel in his drawer at work. 
that gun barrel was found after forensics examination to have been used in the homicide. Detectives haul Grismer in for questioning. I just a simple yes or no question. Did you kill her? No, I did not. She's saying that, no, you did this. You did that. You drove around the cardiac. It was your gun. And guess what? The barrel of that gun is in your possession. I never killed anyone. Well, he denies it. Yeah. Grismer adamantly denies having anything to do with Desiree's murder, claiming he's been framed by a woman he worshipped and adored. She's trying to engineer, set me up here, do something I'm saying to you that, um, that killed someone other that... I think it makes me sick. Suddenly, Marty makes his own shocking allegation, telling detectives it's the mistress who had Desiree murdered. What I know is that I was enraged. That's all I know. He's saying she's the one who's involved. Trying to punt the responsibility onto her. Grismer tells detectives he loaned the mistress's gun months earlier, and now he believes she's planted evidence to set him up. It's my word against her is on all of it on there. What's going through my head is that I'm screwed for life here and I've done nothing. Grismer is right, but it's not only the mistress's sworn statement that buries him. Remember that bloody shoe print? It turns out it's the same size and brand of shoe Grismer wears. Prosecutors charge Marty Grismer with murder in the first degree. You were confident then that you had your guy? Detectives were very confident that, uh, that they had the right guy. But Desiree's mother, Connie Cast, isn't so confident Grismer acted alone. I can believe that he did the deed by himself, but how did he know that Desiree was going to be alone that night? It's a good question. My theory was that Scott and his mistress gave Marty the information that she was going to be alone. And Connie says that's not the only thing that makes her believe there was a conspiracy to have her daughter murdered. Remember the baby the mistress was carrying when Desiree was killed? Turns out Scott wasn't the daddy. Scott's mistress was pregnant with some other guy's child. But said that it was Scott's. Said it was Scott's. Connie believes the mistress knowingly lied about Scott being the father and about her relationship with Desiree. So we started to dig deeper into the mistress's story and uncovered explosive text messages that may blow the case wide open. Desiree writes to you, quote, your guys' comfort level with each other is much higher than I'm okay with. This is you writing to her. I'm sure I could have sex with him. I just don't think about it because he's married. So cut the crap with me now. You are not in an open relationship with Scott and Desiree. Up next. While we're on the subject of your honesty, you said Marty was obsessed with you, but you never had any type of sexual relationship with Marty. The mistress's tangled web starts to unravel. What about the nude photo exchanges between you two? Yeah, there were definitely nude photo exchanges. Between you two? Yes. Oh, yeah? But that's not having sex. If you weren't sleeping with Desiree's husband, would she still be alive today? 